So hello friends, this week I got this question from a subscriber and then usually people ask me stuff about lenses and then usually if I have the lens or I have access to the lens and then I can answer, I will do it. But then this question made me remember that I had this lens and had had it for a long time. I think it was a donation from a subscriber in Belgium and then what happens is that the lens is rattling and then actually this element that you see here is moving crazily. Okay, so I decided to take a look to this lens so I will be answering the answer of our subscriber and then we are going to fix that as well okay so to open this lens is rather simple you first need to remove this ring which is kind of a sticker but then is rigid enough so and to do that you take something flat like I have here something really flat and then sticking and then it is rather rigid and then you reach this point let me put this somewhere it doesn't lose his sticky and then here we go to reach this part that looks a bit weird but then if you pay attention so here there are three grooves and then I can see traces of glue so what I just simply did was to put some isopropyl alcohol and then I insist on that isopropyl alcohol this thing is plastic so if you try it acetone on it is probably going to melt so don't do isopropyl alcohol and then what I did was to put a few drops of isopropyl alcohol and then let it work for a while and then came with my spanner and then as you can see here it took me a while to notice it you can see two slots here that are, cho that are actually made to receive a spanner and then you simply need to rotate and then you unscrew this guy and then you have the other guy who tries to come alone so let me put the front element aside so this was the question and then this is how you remove the front element and then if you actually need to go in here this is a body which is all in plastic so what you will need to do if that's the case you will need to cut the rim, the rim here and then I actually show that how to proceed in this video that you have here well that's the cover of the video and then you have the link okay and then we reach this element here which is a bit of the point of interest and then this lens has been around in my to repair bin for I don't know maybe two years because I didn't really took the time to take a look at it and then I thought it was unrepairable but then it happens that it is a really easy repair okay so let me just remove this and put it aside and then I explain to you so what's going on so you have here 
well, not super easy to see just let me try to show you okay you see there is a groove there and then another one here and then on this guy you have these little white things that are going into the groove and then are going to slide and then this pin here is going to be the guide so first thing I tried to do was to discover where that guide was and then it, is, it happens just to be there okay took me a few seconds maybe two or three minutes to notice it now once you know what you're looking for this is it but then and then what happens is that for some reason the lens was dropped I'm pretty sure of that and then the thing jumped and then this guy got just this large so I'm going to show you how to put it again in position and then to do so I'm just going to remove this front element here so I have three screws here And then if you notice I made some markings here just to know the position when I was going to remove this but then I notice then that there is a hole and a pin just there again I notice that after disassembling the lens and then here you simply pull up and then little rotation rotation actually and then it comes out so you have small guidance cam like mechanism here so that's for that element and then here this one here we can also remove it's the second part of the guiding mechanism I'm just trying to improve my lining Okay, so the second element here, and then what you need to do is there is three small grooves just behind, so it's held by a little pin. So what I'm going to do is just to deform a bit with my finger, so I can pass over the little pins that you can see here and then I have removed that guy ok and then we are ready to install again the element we got strongly this latch ok I have to clean that but then just let me show you how to do that okay so I need to be around the pin and then you see I get into the grooves and then it goes somehow in I'm just going to use this so I will have to clean the lens after to go all the way 
just a matter of having it straight and then to get it fall in position and then here this will be the semi tricky part because we just need to bend this guy a little bit you put it up so you have this little space okay. some space there and then you can actually deform there you go okay, and you just deform it a bit and then you lock it in position and then now it is again moving with the whole lens so that's how you should proceed uh, okay i don't want to waste time showing you how to clean lenses because there is many videos in the channel who show just that so let's assume the lens is clean and then let us just put again this lens back together so we put the element we remove just by deformation so we look to be aligned with the groove so this okay this one is in this one is in okay it is sliding so with that I will be able to put this guy so and then I just need to be somehow aligned with the groove so okay, here I'm not aligned at all and then this is a bit of the annoying part you need to pull this guy out and hold it and then okay this is it and then here you go we got the pin alignment here and then we can simply just go down like that Spacers that go normally here. Careful, you have a very thin one which can easily deform. Then we put the screw. So the lens is not in very good condition internally because with the rattling and all that, uh, it go it got scratch on the interior but then it makes good images nevertheless I just tried it before showing it to you on the video so now I just screw this you can put if you want a drop of glue so just to get it together to hold I won't do that and then you put back the ring in position and then this lens is ready to go back into service so this is all I wanted to show today thanks for watching and see you next time huh?